Yo, what's up, my crazy subscriber? This is Joking Jaws 4 and today I'm gonna bring you guys my game plan on my defense. You know who I'm gonna pick up in the future, who's gonna get replaced, who's gonna be my future star, and everything. You know, I'll give you guys my future pickups for my defense here in my Ultimate Team. And if you saw my previous video, well, you guys want to see my offensive, you know, game plan in the future. Uh, make sure you go a video back. Um, you should be able to see my future pickups and who's gonna be replacing who and everything on, on offense. This is right here is gonna be the defensive, uh, defensive side. So uh, this year I did a hell of a job picking up Marcel Darius, Demontre Moore, and Jadavion Clowney. Well, both DTs are going to be replaced this year. Uh, Linville Joseph did a hell of a job, but there's somebody better than him. I think his name is Demontre Poe. Wait, it's not Demontre. Is it Demontre? I'm not sure, but his name is Poe. His last name is Poe. He's from the Kansas City Chiefs. He's going to come into my team in the future replacing Linville Joseph. Um, Marcel Darius did a hell of a job, but I'm also aiming towards um, Halori Nada. And I believe he he does have the same skill set as Marcel Darius, so um, I'm gonna pick him a uh, Haloti Nada, a lot like maybe like in week six or something, because you know by that point I should be able to have twenty thousand coins again, and um, I should be able to pick him up. I mean I really want a big run stuff defensive player out there who can just like do not let anybody run. Like I don't want nobody to run out here, so I'm gonna collect the best run stuffers there is here on the auctions and everything. So uh, I believe. Halori Nada will do a hell of a job. Unless you have your own opinion, guys. If you guys got your own opinion about Halori Nada, if you used him before, tell me right now if he's good or not. Because I really do not know by this point why does he cost this, like, he costs like around 36000 And he does have 86 overall, so it's a really questionable pickup. So anyways, yeah, both DTs are going to be replaced. And Montre Moore and Jadavion Clowney will stay as starters. They did a hell of a job last year. For sure, they're going to do a hell of a job this year. My cornerbacks, Antonio Cromartie, will stay. I like I am I'm telling you right now he's gonna stay for the whole season three. He has his position locked. He's gonna stay there. Brandon Browner is a questionable thing. Like I'm not sure he's gonna stay there because I know he's pretty slow. And season three is gonna consist of more you know elites and more captains and more legend players. And my question is, will he be able to keep up? Because he does ha he doesn't have a lot of speed. So Brandon Browner might be replaced later on in the future, but I don't know with who. Uh, one of my main targets so far has been uh, Dominic Rogers Cromarty. He's six foot two. He has like 94 speed. He does have some some kind of zone coverage and a lot more man coverage. So you know, he's gonna be the same thing as Antonio Cromarty. I'm telling you right now, he's the same thing. He's freaking fast, six foot two also. So imagine having Cromarty and the other Cromarty. This is gonna be a speed uh, a speedster cornerback position right there for both sides. So. I don't know. I might pick up Dominic Rogers Cromartie and Brandon Bonner will be replaced. So, yeah. Nothing else about my cornerbacks either. I mean, Carl Harris Jr. and Ike Taylor are, are like, uh, not used that much. I usually do not play with three corners. I don't go nickel. Uh, I usually go 4-6 and 4-3. Uh, so, yeah. So, that's why you guys don't see Carl Harris Jr. like a bunch of times on the field throughout this whole season of season two. Uh, my linebackers, Gerard Mayo, will be replaced with Sean Lee in the future, depending on how he does the season. If he is screwing up in some certain points, like he gets run over by the running back, then I will consider him getting Sean Lee. Like, I'm I'm 100% right now sure that Sean Lee will be coming into my team if Gerard Mayo misses, misses up. But so far in Season 3, he didn't mess up. He did a hell of a job. He did force a bunch of fumbles. Uh, he did do an interception in the Super Bowl of Season 2, so... I believe he might say he might stay for the whole season three, but will probably be replaced by by the playoffs if I really need a better middle linebacker. Ahmad Brooks and Vontis Perfect. Um, the only guy who's going to be replaced here is Ahmad Brooks. Vontis Perfect might have his position locked, but if there's another team of the weak player coming in and he's better than Vontis Perfect, I will be replacing Vontis Perfect. Now, the thing that I really like about Perfect is that he does have a lot of hit power, a lot of tackling also. Let me show you right now. Keep your eye on the left side where it says Vontis Perfect. And this is the thing that I like about him. He does have a lot of hit power, which means I'm going to I'm gonna be able to force a lot, of, a lot of fumbles. He has 95 Pursuit, by the way, also. So, 95 hit power, 95 Pursuit. I mean, this is just the best run stuff defense right here, but too bad that the skills are different. So, yeah, it just raises some few questions here and there, so... Yeah, Vontis Perfect might stay here all the way to week six. Might. I'll probably be able to see some some other better players, and I'll let you guys know when Vontis Perfect will be replaced. Amon Brooks will probably be replaced, though. I've seen some better players out there. Uh, I think I believe he's like 86 overall. He's about to, he's from the Buccaneers, and um, yeah, he's gonna be replaced. Actually, Amon Brooks. He did a hell of a job season two, but 
uh, I want somebody better who can, you know, who has higher overall and probably possibly have like more speed than Ahmad Brooks. Dante Winner and Mike Adams will not be replaced. They have their position locked, and um, you know they did a hell of a job, both of them. Mike Adams on his first game, interception. Dante Winner on his first game, interception, forced fumbles. Damn, this guy's a beast, man. I don't understand why people jump on this guy. Like this guy is a freaking beast at 5'11 and shit. So I recommend to get Dante Winner. Like he's a, he was a hell of a impact player on season three. I mean on season two. I mean, so yeah. So those are my my replacements on defense, guys. Hopefully you guys, you know, understand that who who's gonna get replaced here. You know, my DTs, Browner, my two outside linebackers, and Mayo. Actually, all my linebacker unit. Um, my safety's got my uh, the safety kind of position locked there, so I really don't have to worry about them. So that's it, guys. And if you guys want to add more to it, like if you guys recommend somebody, let me know in the comment section. I would like to know your opinion too. And also, uh, let me do a quick specialist thing. Like CJ Spiller and Joe McKnight, um, they're good returns. I'm not gonna change any of that. So that's it. And I got, and I gotta get a better kicker. I saw, I saw Matthew Petter, Matthew. I mean Matt Prater. That's his name. Matt Prater, like going for four Gs at at, uh, at the auction. So. And he does have a lot of kick power and more accuracy because David Aker does not have a lot of kicking accuracy. I noticed. I noticed a few times. So, yeah, look at that. 77 kick accuracy, but he does have a lot of kick power. Ugh, but I got to replace him soon. So, that's it. That's the only guy to replace him on the special teams. So, that's it, guys. If you guys enjoy, you know, like my options and picking up uh, future players, please let me know in the comment section. And also, leave a like and support the series of my Man Ultimate team if you guys want to see some more stuff going on here. Because I'm going to be very detailed on this. I'm going to be showing you guys, like, step by step on how I'm upgrading my team, like, along the week. So, it's going to be very interesting, guys. I'm very detailed and I'm not going to let you guys down. You know, I'm going to win season three for sure. And for hopefully, I can go undefeated too. Back to back season. It's going to be a hell of a time, guys. So, that's it. And subscribe for more Madden 15 Ultimate Team.